I have never seen such a vicious father. He forcibly took his daughter and stuffed her into a jar. No matter how much his daughter cried, he coldly sealed the mouth of the jar and pressed a stone on it. The reason he did this was to invite God to the mountain, and his daughter was his sacrifice to the gods. As the ceremony proceeded, he waved a feather dust a crazy dance. The wind was blowing all around him. The cries of his daughter became more shrill. Suddenly he seemed to be possessed by something like his whole body began to twitch and then fell on the blood of the mirror. In a few moments the silence returned. They also disappeared into the cave. Sixty years later, late one night, a man and a woman drove by this place. They looked nervous, but suddenly the car hit something. The man gets out of the car and sees that it's a dog. He picks up the dog and walks to the back of the car. He opened the trunk and there was a woman lying inside. <laughs> It turns out that this woman is his wife. It seems to be a case of love murder. After a short time, he dragged the body to a hole. He used a shovel to pry open the bricks. He didn't even notice that a charm had fallen to the ground. So he ripped off the rope with a bell on it. When he finished everything and was about to leave, he heard his wife's voice coming from the wall. The man was frightened to the point of cold sweat. Then he slowly turned around and used his flashlight to shine inside the wall where the voice originated from. Is his wife not completely dead? He bravely went forward to check and move the brick that was not completely closed. Now his wife's voice was even clearer, but he had just killed her. They both fled in fear. The next day, a brother and sister came to the entrance of the cave by chance to look for their lost dog. The dog barked from inside the cave. The sister poked her head in to check but couldn't see anything. She took out her cell phone and tried to turn on the light. Suddenly, a hen reached out of the darkness and pulled her into the wall in an instant. Her brother was terrified. He slowly walked up to the entrance of the hole to check on his sister's figure. Suddenly a hand grabbed him. It turned out that the sister came out of the wall unharmed. Then the siblings got the help of a couple. Jack decided to go into the cave to find out the truth. Anna found a mirror wrapped in tape in the gazebo outside. After tearing the tape, she saw a girl in red through the mirror. Anna was curious and went up to ask, but no matter how she asked, the girl did not say anything. Just then there was an accident with Jack in the cave. The man came to the iron door with a flashlight. The moment the door was opened, a woman suddenly lunged out from inside the door. She was foaming at the mouth and her eyes became bloodshot. But she struggled a few times in pain and then stopped moving. The police soon took over the investigation and immediately sealed off the hole. It was late at night when Nana returned home. Then she heard a knock on the door outside. Anna looked through the window and saw the girl in red who had appeared on the mountain standing at the door. Anna saw the girl poor, so she pulled her into the house. At that moment, a wind blew the wind chimes, a blind witch in the distance seemed to sense the danger. She looked gloomy instantly. Anna saw that the girl was dirty and decided to take her to the bath first. But Anna's expression changed as soon as she took off her clothes. She couldn't imagine what a little girl covered in bruises had gone through. Anna carefully wiped her body and took out her son's clothes to change her. Realizing the poor girl's plight, Anna decided to let her stay at home for the time being. But Jack felt something strange about the girl. Late at night, there is a voice from upstairs. Jack pushed open the door and was about to scold her when he saw that it was the little girl who was talking. He was puzzled because the voice was clearly the same as his daughter's. But he did not find any clues. Early the next morning, the couple felt that their eyes were a little blurry. They both thought that the lack of sleep had caused this phenomenon. At that moment, the blind witch found them and came up to warn the family to move out of here quickly, otherwise their lives would be in danger. After the witch said that, she left in a hurry. At night, everyone was asleep. The little girl quietly walked around the room and came to her mother-in-law's room. Her mouth seemed to be talking about something. As a result, the grandmother woke up the next day and had hallucinations in her head. Her dead relatives kept calling her. Anna came into the kitchen and found the floor in a mess. Knives were scattered all over the floor. At that moment, there was a noise from upstairs. Curious, Anna went to the room to check, but found the little girl hiding in the closet. She curiously asked the girl why she was hiding. However, her mother-in-law appeared behind her with a knife. When Anna turned around, her daughter was home alone and heard her mother's voice coming from the toilet. Curious, she walks to the toilet. Suddenly a mosaic emerged from the sink. Lily was scared to turn around and run immediately into the kennel. Standing in the corner shivering, however, a hand suddenly came through the door and almost caught her. Then Lily hid in the cage, eyes on the door. At that moment, the mother's voice came again from outside. But it was the little girl who came in. It turns out that this voice is the little girl imitating the sound. The girl slowly approached Lily with broken glass in her hand. Anna, the mother, arrived in time. She saw a few handprints on the bathroom mirror 
and immediately looked around the room for her daughter. At that moment, there was a sound from the closet. Anna opened the closet and found the girl and her daughter hiding inside. But she didn't know how much trouble this girl of unknown origin would bring to her family. Late that night, her mother-in-law heard her brother's call again. A figure flashed in the mirror to lure her into the cave. And when the family discovers that the mother-in-law is missing, Jack sees the mirror ouncing with liquid. He immediately ripped off the tape on the mirror, and a hand appeared on it. Jack instinctively realized that this is related to the girl and found the girl to ask. Then he also disappeared. Anna called the police immediately after the family's continuous disappearance. But the police took out a photo and told her that it was taken 60 years ago. Anna felt uneasy. At that moment, a blind witch appeared and told her that the James and Tiger was sealed in a cave. The James and Tiger is good at imitating human voices and luring the living to sacrifice their lives. And the little girl's father was swallowed by the soul and became the James and Tiger's henchman. But because the little girl's spirit was stronger, she became the James and Tiger's hunter. And Anna is the object of her hunting. Anna rushed home after knowing everything. The girl faced Anna's questioning and told her the truth. But Anna decided to take the risk to save her family from the cave. Then she followed the girl to the cave. But as Anna went into the cave, her ears were filled with the voices of her family and she couldn't tell if it was reality or a hallucination. Finally, she was about to lose consciousness, and the mirror behind her was trying to pull her in with its hands. At that moment, Jack appeared in time to break the mirror, and then dragged Anna desperately to the exit. But halfway there, Anna stopped. She heard her son's voice and burst into tears. She let go of Jack's hand. Anna did not want to live to bear the guilt and pain of losing her son, and chose to stay in the cave with the little girl forever.